Last year, Mount Mercy University had 18 varsity sports. That number has now grown to 19 after the university announced the addition of women's lacrosse this summer. It's a sport that is growing nationally and in the Heart of America Conference. On July 29th, the university announced the hiring of Angelia Blythe as the program's first head coach. We've looked at a lot of emerging sports over the last few years and doing you know, some uh, return on investment type work. And um, lacrosse has been talked about for um, a number of years and uh, as well as some other sports, but um, the timing was right. Our league, I believe, has a half a dozen. Uh, Benedictine uh, University out of Kansas won the NAI national title last year. Uh, so so it's, uh, there's already some really um, solid competitive programs here in the Midwest. I'm very, very excited for this opportunity. Mount Mercy is very special to our family. My husband is a Mount Mercy alum. He ran track and field and cross country here. And so we're already connected to the university. While Blythe is no stranger to Cedar Rapids or the sport of lacrosse, she had a feeling the school was adding the sport when she noticed something on the field. When I first came out here was actually a few months ago for my daughter. She was doing a track, Cedar Rapids Track Club out here. And I noticed all the lines and I, I thought, they don't have a lacrosse team, but they are lined for lacrosse. A thought came through my mind and that was, that was a number of, of months ago before they ever announced that they were having this program. So it's really exciting that they had that forethought to say, lacrosse is a growing sport. We should go ahead and get the field ready. This isn't the first time that she has started a program from scratch. She was actually the co-founder of her high school lacrosse team in Indianapolis, Covenant High School. She played all four years there. In college, she attended Purdue University and played on the women's lacrosse club team that earned a Big Ten championship in 2012. Then from 2016 to 18, she was the varsity girls head coach at Marist High School in Eugene, Oregon. She led Marist to a playoff appearance in 2016 and was named the South Lake Coach of the Year in 2018. I have a history of playing. I did gymnastics. I did basketball and I did karate. So I tried a lot of different sports and I think what really got me with lacrosse was how fast paced the game is. So I would play in the midfield. So I was able to go everywhere on the field. And I love that there were lots of goals. It kept the game really exciting. I loved how fast paced it was. You could, the ball could be on defense and 30 seconds later you were down on attack or offense. Blythe has a long list of things to do in order to get the program ready. Her focus has been buying the equipment, recruiting, and she's also holding clinics at the university for area high school and college students, helping them to learn more about the sport of lacrosse and the rules of the game. In Iowa, it is not a sanctioned high school sport, but there's a lot of different emotions going through her right now as she builds a program from scratch again. I'm not naive, I know what it's gonna take to start a new program and that it is not an easy thing, especially with the sport of lacrosse and lacrosse not being an established sport here in Iowa. I knew that it was definitely going to be an uphill battle. I would say that I'm anxious to see who ends up coming to build our team and what our culture ends up becoming. I also am extremely excited for that because there's not very many opportunities that you get to start completely fresh and we have an opportunity to decide what kind of reputation Mount Mercy lacrosse team is going to have. Mount Mercy won't begin competition until the 2023-24 school year. The season will be played in the spring with a schedule that runs from March to May and Blythe is already setting high goals for her first season. I plan to be competitive right out of the gate. <laughs> I am a competitive person and that competitive nature is going to come through with my coaching. So I definitely expect to be competitive. I want our opponents to know that Mount Mercy lacrosse team will play the entire game and it will not be an easy win for any of our opponents.